Hey guys, welcome back to our channel and for my returning subscribers, hey. Uh, for those of you who are just tuning in, thank you so much for that, I appreciate it. In today's video, we are going to be doing a haul closet organization. This is my entertainment closet and this thing is a hot mess. So let's take a look at what we're working with. So we originally had wire shelves in here that weren't really working for what we use this closet for. So Kira built these wooden shelves instead. So I went from having four 12 inch wire shelves to five wooden shelves. Four of those wooden shelves are 18 inches. And then the very top one is 12 inches. So it can handle so much more weight, so much more um, inventory, if you will. Um, so I'm able to store a whole lot more. So I'm gonna start by removing everything from the closet and I'm using my kitchen and my dining table to kind of sort and group all these things as I'm taking it out, um, just to make it easier when it's time to pack things back away. And so this is the closet all clean. My kitchen is a huge mess, but when you're organizing or you're rearranging things, it always gets a little hectic before it can be fabulous. So I'm totally okay with that. And so, like I said, I'm using my kitchen for storage. I'm using my dining table, so my island, my counters. And we grouped like items with like items so that it would be easier when we're putting things in bins and putting it back into the closet. And I picked these bins up from Ikea. They come in a whole bunch of different sizes and they have lids so they're stackable, which is really nice. So I'm putting in all my wallflowers. I'm gonna put my candles into a bin. And when we were building the house, we selected a really neutral base. So the countertops, the cabinets, the floors, even the large furniture pieces, we all chose those in neutral colors because that allows me to change things around so I can create different vibes with different colors without spending a fortune. Like I don't have to replace my sofa because it's a neutral color. And so here I'm packing away my pillow covers and I use these instead of actual throw pillows. I do have a couple of throw pillows but I use these mostly to save space, um, but I can use the same pillow inserts and just switch out the pillow cover when I'm flipping over decor, right? So I'm switching out the colors. I can just choose my pillow covers that go with whatever I'm doing, change the pillows, change the, change the throw blankets, the decor pieces, and then I have a whole new look. And taking this time to organize all of these little things into bins might seem super tedious, but I promise, 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 it's totally worth it in the end. Everything has a home, a designated place to be. It's easier to find things. I don't have bins with a whole bunch of random things in it. Everything is kind of separated and has its own place. So when I'm using things, I can put it back. It helps to keep things tidy also. And then even with these napkin rings, I had about eight little boxes of these napkin rings and I was able to condense it down into two of these bins and then there's one small box that has my seasonal napkin rings.
So whether I'm decorating or I'm organized, organizing, I always start with a clean wipe down space. So I'm gonna take a minute and wipe down all of these shelves before I start to pack things away. And I'm starting on the top shelf. The top shelf is that shelf that's 12 inches. And I'm using this shelf for my taller items. So this, I have a few patisserie stands that I'm gonna put in there that won't fit in the shelves below because they're too tall. Um, so I'm gonna put all of those taller items on that very top shelf. And then with these cake stands, I have a few of these too. So I'm gonna stack them one on top of the other. Um, to maximize my storage space. And I have the cake stands on one side, and then I'm gonna put all of my candle holders, my extra candle holders on the other side. And I even have some space um, to put some serving bowls in the center. So between those candle holders and those cake stands, I'm able to store some serving bowls on top of that cake stand. And so I use these lid racks to store some serving platters. I also use them to store chargers. So I'm able to store multiple sets of chargers on these lid racks. Kind of an off-label use, but it works for me. And I'm, I'm wondering, do you guys use any items kind of off-label to organize? If you do, I'd love to hear what that is in the comments below. And then these bins, I popped on little post-it notes to remind me of what was in the bin so that I could make the labels. And I ended up using my Cricut for those labels. That font is Alex Brush, if you guys are interested. And I'll make sure to link all the materials that I used for this below in the description box. But this is the final product, my entertainment closet, all clean and organized. If you're interested in these kinds of videos, don't forget to hit that like button. Um, and you can subscribe and then hit that notification bell and you'll be notified anytime we upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and Happy New Year.